Hey guys, RTT back here for that video guys, and today I want to give my experience switching back to the Surface Duo 1 for one day as my daily driver. Yes, before I was able to actually get my Google Pixel Fold, which is right here, and I'm telling you right now, I love this device more than anything. Um, before I was able to pick up that phone, I actually went ahead and switched back over to the Surface Duo 1 as my daily drivers. Now, I see my video recently, I actually just picked one up from eBay. As you know, Macari, and I got it for very, very cheap. I got it for like $475, which to be honest, was not really that insane. So I said, you know what, if we're gonna pick this up, do an unboxing and look at it, I wanna switch to it as my daily driver for just one day. See how I like it. Is it still serviceable? Is it still good? Can I still, you know, perform my daily routines with it? So let's go ahead and talk about it. Starting off right away, I'm gonna put on the screen right now the pictures from this device slash the video camera. <sighs> you realize how bad this video camera truly was. Like, again, keep in mind that the only cameras on this phone, right? There is none on the back. Surf Zero 2 has one on the back. We'll do an unboxing later of that uh, video of that um, phone. But when it comes to this, this is the only camera on the whole entire phone which makes everything so much more difficult to work with. And I'm not sure, okay, there we go. It's glitching a little bit here, which is kind of funny because it was not glitching. But the whole day I used it for as my daily driver again, it was not glitching. But again, like I said, if you want to use the camera, you can see right here, this is bam, close it, flip it over. That's how you flip the camera. That's how you change the camera. So now you can actually change it. And yeah, the quality is definitely not the greatest, but it is what it is, right? That's definitely one of those situations where it is what it is. So let's talk about the positives. First off, Launcher 10, so far it's glitching out for me on this video, but Launcher 10 was absolutely amazing with this phone. I had no issue with it, and I kind of forgot how much I love Launcher 10 until I used it again with this phone, and it has been amazing. I say that, but do you guys see how much is glitching out? <laughs> Bro, the Surface Duo, for some reason, does not want to work with me today. I think it's because I just got it off the charger, and right now it's hot as anything. And I think the, like, the heat is actually glitching it out even more. So, it might just be the heat of, you know, just getting it off the charger. Because, again, like I said, I've not had this much glitching issues at all when I was using it for the whole day. I had no problems at all with it. I'm going to have to restart it. Let's go ahead and restart it real fast. But, again, like I said... No issues with the software at all. I've had no issues at all. Perfect software. I think Android 12L, well, yes, it's not the most updated software. It's still very serviceable and very nice. It still gets the job done at a very good level. And I've had no issue with Android 12L. One thing I will say, and you'll find this out more with the Google Pixel review, is while, yes, there is a lot of applications that are actually optimized for the Surface Duo 1, not every single application is, right? And, but for the most part, my applications I use are. So I had no issue with that. Obviously, Google Pixel Fold, there's even less applications optimized for that device. So it's even more of a problem slash issue. But overall wise, again, as like just a daily, you know, experience, no problems at all with any applications. Again, these are the, all the applications I use. If you guys are wondering, um, I use my Cash App, Amazon, all that kind of stuff. Now, here's a big thing that I did actually have a problem with, and it was the fact that, first off, it has no 5G, which not really that, like, crazy big of a deal, I will say. I mean, it is definitely, you know, important. I, I don't know. I mean, listen, 5G is not like it's, like, the fastest thing ever to exist in life, right? It's still, you know, why it's still data, but it definitely is a lot faster than 4G. And you will tell right away. And I don't know why I'm, that my camera does not want to pick up this phone. Like it honestly does not want to pick up this phone right now. But as I was saying, no, yeah. So you definitely notice a big difference in speed using this phone with 4G over 5G. Now, of course, this also has lots of gigabytes of RAM. This does pack in six gigabytes of RAM versus mo most phones nowadays with 12 gigabytes of RAM. Not too big of a deal, right? No NFC on this phone. Huge deal, huge problem for me. 
no waterproofness at least the surface zero two got some type of waterproofness this has absolutely none which i couldn't take it out thankfully it wasn't raining yesterday so that i saved my bacon there but overall wise you know that would have probably been a problem now i will say the form factor i still freaking love and i will always love this form factor this device it feels like a little passport in your hands right it feels like you can literally do whatever you want with this phone and you nothing will ever go bad which is obviously not 100 true because the charging port is very fragile and also of course this is glass this is glass and these are glass so there's always gonna be problems in that department but other than that though, I will say my experience using this for a day again, I, I think it's so very usable as a primary device. I know that's going to be very controversial to say. It's so very usable as a primary device. The battery life is fine. The software is fine. You know, yeah, there's some hiccups and glitches and problems, but it's very not that big of a deal, I will say. And again, these are issues and problems I'm having on other devices too, not just the Surface Zero 1. So again, for a $475 device, for a daily driver, it was actually pretty dang good. And I have no real issues at all with it. I mean, obviously no wireless charging sucks, I have wireless charging my car. But as you can see in the video I have here, I actually did have it mounted in my car. And again, the car mount I had before for it actually works perfectly for this phone. So again, it's one of those situations where it's like, yes, this phone is not perfect, right? And let's be honest, this is outdated hardware. It's an 888, oh, actually, no, that's the new one. It's an 855 processing unit. It only comes with six gigabytes of RAM. It has a small battery. You know, it has only 260 Hertz panels, not 90 Hertz like the Surface Zero 2 or 120 like the Z Fold 5. But again, for coming out in 2020 and being the price tag it is, I really am finding myself almost impossible not to say this is still an amazing device to use as a primary device. Again, you're never going to get, you know, you're never going to be able to do exactly what I'm doing here on another device which is open up one application, right? And then open up another application. You're never gonna be able to do this on any other device and have two separate displays. Again, I get it, yo, Surface Duo, I'm sorry, the Galaxy Z Fold devices, you can do this technically, and same thing with the Google Pixel, but you can't do it in the orientation of having two separate displays, you can't. And having that ability to go like this, scroll down on applications, with just your fingers i forgot how much i missed having that i forgot how much i missed you know the user experience you get with this phone where it's yes it's not perfect but it's also really not bad at all it's a very good phone still even in 2023 so it's i don't know it's, it's one of those situations where it's like i love the google pixel fold i love the z fold 5 but nothing will ever capture my heart like this phone does for personally and again it's just maybe it's the form factor of it maybe it's the convenience of it i just feel like no matter what i do with this phone it is perfect in every single way possible and maybe it's just me being biased and it also still breaks my heart that microsoft absolutely you know messed up this whole product line and butchered this because this could have been such a good product this could have been five six seven different surface duos down the line and this could have been the best phone we've ever seen best phone you know series we ever seen i'll never forgive microsoft for that i really won't because this is the phone i fell in love with at first and i still love it and the fact that it's not being updated meaning like a newer generation anymore it just breaks my heart but it is what it is guys tell me down below your thoughts and opinions Again, daily driver check. I give this thing a 10 out of 10. I really do. Yes, no NFC is an issue, but everything else checks out of the box for me personally. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.